welcome back to the LCR podcast, guys. My name is Caleb. And my name is Matt. That was kind of weird putting the my name part into it. I apologize for that. You kind of messed me up. <laughs> like, oh, we got really okay. formal with that. Um, we are here to talk about the biggest movie of the year, J.K. Simmons. Uh, we got a fun little movie about two fishes going at it. Two fishes? Gemini Man. Gemini. Two fishes? No, that's Pisces. I already screwed it up. Yeah, the Geminis are the twins. <laughs> yeah. I was just imagining uh, the whole yin yang thing. But that's two little fumbles to a great start. Um, <clears throat> this is a okay movie. Yeah, I mean, as far as action movies go, it mm-hmm. wasn't the greatest. It wasn't terrible. I mean, I like the action in it. Yeah, there was definitely some fun stuff that mm-hmm. happened and like some cool shots. But for the most part, I was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's a, it's a, it's so weird doing a podcast when it's light outside. It's, it's yeah, just, it's such a nice change. We can hear. Honestly, I should probably close the windows. Um, that's nah, fine. Nature. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna want to listen to this podcast because nobody's gonna go see the movie. But if you did see the movie, tell us what you guys think. Um, it's a very interesting movie. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna get into the notes because I can already tell that if we just try to pull from memory, we're just gonna stall. Yeah. Um, it's a good thing you wrote down notes. I filled out a lot. This doesn't really count because that's just like a whole theory. Yeah. That we're gonna get into. But um, one big fact, fun fact about this movie, it has been been in production hell for. 20 years oh 20 years this movie was conceived in 1997 jesus christ i don't know how many uh studios and companies have been trying to make this movie but it's been passed around for a long time and it had i don't know how many rewrites it's probably had since that um but the final version had three writers attached to it yeah i saw that yeah um one big notable one is uh david benioff he is one of the Game of Thrones writers. Okay. I was about to say, that sounds familiar. Take from that what you will. He's... Okay. Okay. So, here's my take on the and Game of Thrones. And you haven't seen Game of Thrones no, yet. No, but so. here's my take on the Game of Thrones dilemma. Mm-hmm. I think that when they were writing season seven and season eight, that's when they were approached by Kathleen Kennedy and people at Star Wars, and they're just like, hey, we want you guys <laughs> to write this new Star Wars trilogy. And they're like fuck we made it guys and so they were just like fuck game of thrones george rr R. martin has had 20 years to write these damn books yeah he didn't he he's on his own now so like if he doesn't like this he could shut up his ass that's definitely like the biggest theory is that they're just like screw it we got star wars now let's get this done which is totally <clears throat> understandable because it's it, in in my opinion the whole game of thrones dilemma falls entirely on george rr R. R. martin i wouldn't say entirely R. i would say R. it's R. a R. huge R. part of him because it's like it's like 80% his fault. The, the way that it fell, they were expecting the books to be done by the time they got to that point. Okay, yes. But also, it's just like, they <clears> shouldn't <throat> have expected that. But they, like, George also should have done his fucking job as an author. I'm probably just talking out of my ass because I am in no means an author. But Th- This man's known for just procrastinating. I mean, he has been working. He just has been making stories that aren't the main storyline like he's been right. he's been making like, spinoffs and other things i i, I read instead. an article where he has you know in case of an untimely death he like leaves <laughs> plants behind for a, like a close friend of his mm-hmm. or a trusted author that he know will take the story that he has laid out and like you know finish it that's great that's that's genius why the fuck didn't you just take that plan and just write it yourself uh, yeah right i mean but, that, that whole thing just kind of mm-hmm. irritates me a lot because mm-hmm. it's just like, dude, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. You still need to watch. Like, once you get those fir- uh, through those first four seasons, you're going to be so into it, dude. First four. The first four are gold. Even five is, is still good. Yeah. Um. But <clears throat> I'll still throw, throw some blame on them because the this show should have been go- been going on for nine, ten seasons. It, it really crunched in the last two seasons. But they yeah. did, they just didn't have the material. They're great adapters. Um, they are not great writers from scratch when they have to do their own stuff. Uh, I don't well, know what I, else. I also feel like they were just kind of like, they just 
once they got word that they were getting Star Wars, they just kind of dropped it. Yeah, which is it's still shitty. Yeah. You, you need to stay committed to what you're doing because yeah. that will get into the whole like Ben Affleck rant that I always get on. Yeah. When you sign up for something, you are committed. Yeah. Do what you're supposed to do. Um, but also, like, with the whole Ben Affleck thing, like, it sucks that he's not part of it anymore, yes, mm-hmm. but it's also just, like, DC is so fucked. Yeah, that there's blame on both ends. planning, that it's just, like, I don't blame Ben for not wanting to stay on if he's just going to get jerked around, mm-hmm. you know, because it's just, like, <clears throat> he, I mean, he was, he's just sitting on the sidelines, like, so... Justice League 2? They're like, ah, maybe? And he's like, so can I do anything else? And they're like, mm, probably not. We need we're, you open. We're, we're like, going to put you in another uh, Suicide Squad movie. Oh, my nope. God. <laughs> Which I got hope for it. I still got hope for it. James Gunn, I got faith. Yeah. Are you, are you okay? Are you with you? Um, I mean, I, I haven't seen anything yet, but, you know, I, I enjoy James Gunn. And shut up. We're not on a tangent. Technically, we're on topic because Will Smith is in a Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> Also, it's just like this podcast is probably going to be short, so we're just going to try to fill in with some filler. Oh, yeah. I, I welcome the tangents. Um, I don't understand why everyone hates this movie or is crapping on this. I mean, I understand. Like, it it but... was subpar, but I don't see people giving it Ds and Fs. No, it's like I said, I think like a C plus is yeah. fair. Um, it, you sound like... <laughs> from, from your tone, you sound a lot more negative on the movie now than you were last night I, I it was a fun movie i definitely enjoyed it but there was like just a few things that i was just like huh mm-hmm. why why I, why bring that up how does that work i, I didn't really understand um did, did you like the dialogue especially at the beginning like when we meet mary elizabeth winstead weinstead winstead <clears throat> and they're having that back and forth at the the marina yeah at first like I was just like, oh my god, Will Smith is just off his fucking rocker. He's crazy, and I'm like, wait, no, maybe maybe she is. Maybe she's just like really good. I'm like, no, oh no, yeah, no, well, no, yeah. no, no, she's she's fucking like he's he's crazy. This chick is this poor chick is just you know. But you knew she's the third person on this movie. I didn't actually forgot that she was on this movie. Oh really? Yes. Why would she just make that small little cameo? I don't know. I, that's why I was like, I guess he could have gone the route that like because he associated with her. They're now going to go after her. Yeah. And she's just this innocent person. Yeah. Also, that, that would have been That reminds me of another thing that was just really fucking dumb. It's just like, Henry is, you know, AFK. I've been playing too much. AFK. <laughs> he's, a, he's away from keyboard momentarily. Uh, no, he's, he's, we going, are, he's, we are he's, going, he's going rogue, blah, 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 blah. We are in the simulation. And the guy's just like talking to the the uh, DIA director and he's like let me let me let me send out Gemini and she's like no <laughs> it's just like that's such an action trope but it's it's just it's more so just like what really annoyed me it was just like you're not ready for Gemini uh, Gemini 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 oh and like when like, you just drop like the code name and it's of, just like, like something bro we, we know what Gemini <laughs> is we've seen the fucking trailers there's no point in hiding it like the fact that you're doing this is just dumb right and then like you know if it was something we didn't know like at all yeah if it wasn't in the title yeah like this is let me send in spade because we kept seeing spade tattoos and it's like oh the spade send in the spade yeah but also I, lo- I love all the glass connections we were making yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was it was it a was it a the tattoo in glass was it a club clover clover it was a clover duh I immediately knew what it was when I got to the club. The club. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. Uh. The dialogue and the, and the story are really my my biggest things about this movie. Negatives. Uh, Everything else was, was pretty just positive for me. Cheesy and weird and yeah. It was just weak. Mm-hmm. The action but, was good. Yeah. It, it's just so weird to like take these two characters seriously because like one, it's Will Smith. Yeah. Playing a serious um and obviously Will Smith can play serious roles um um mercenary guy yeah he's being all casual he was actually pretty good i liked i liked yeah yeah he i liked great. how he played his character and there, he had some really good monologues in yeah. this movie yeah <clears throat> and i mean shoot when you not only carry the movie by yourself but twice and to a lesser extent three times three times <laughs> spoilers obviously <clears throat> we'll get into that eventually um well 
That's just my throat. Nice throat know. noise. Um, I guess it's already get into it. The CGI of Young Will, since we brought him up already, it was amazing. It looked good, but it still looked weird because you're just like. It, I, it I think mostly, it looked weird because like you already knew. Well, that and so you're like expecting it. That and it's also just like oh, old Will's right there. <laughs> like that's current day Will, mm-hmm. and then you're like oh. I think if they just were able to drop, like, uh, say that it wasn't Young Will, say it was like a younger version of someone else, and you weren't expecting it, yeah. Then it's like, holy crap, crap holy crap, holy crap. Yeah. Instead of like seeing Young, um, what's his face in Rogue One, General uh, Tarkin, was it in Rogue One? Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name. I'm blanking on it. <sighs> Peter. Oh, the actor's name. Something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he played uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, and unfortunately he passed away, so they brought him back for... Well, they computer-generated him for... One scene. Yeah, in Rogue One. Uh Uh-huh. Where he's given the orders on the Death Star. It's on... Maybe it's on... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, looking back on that, it's, like, super weird seeing that. Yeah, because, like, that was, like... That was, like, at the beginning... And like just like that was just like a few years ago. So mm-hmm. for it to have come this far so quickly, I wouldn't say beginning. Well, okay, but it was. It was if def- anything, Tron Legacy was like the true beginning, and then we had a huge gap. Okay, and then yeah. that was the dive back into it. Yeah, sort but, of. I mean, like I don't know. In Rogue One, it seemed like it was just very bad. Yeah, and maybe because it was just that one scene, so they didn't spend too much of the budget on it. You know. Yeah. Whereas when the whole movie is this huge CGI intensive part. Yeah. Then yeah. It also took a while. Act one was pretty long. Or not even act one. Um, Because we got into it once they were on the... They started attacking them. But it took a while to see Young Will. Probably like 45 minutes into the movie. Yeah. 40 minutes. Which is pretty good. Um, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't just go into it right away. I feel like... Even though we didn't need the... Send in Gemini. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, that was just... Not on American soil. That was dumb. <laughs> um, Maybe it would have helped if they put, like, a bigger actress for the the DIA nah, agent lady. I don't think they Because she was... I mean, she was such a throwaway. That's what I mean. Like, she wasn't important at all. Yeah. And I didn't recognize her from her anything. I don't know. Nah, I don't mm-hmm. recognize her either. I do want to say, though, the dude on the boat was Alfred. It's confirmed. Yeah. You you did look Dennis, that up. Hodges, something Hodge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just so that's you why said I it so loudly in the theater and I was like, Jesus, Caleb, calm down. Yeah, you were just like, Is that is that Alfred? <laughs> I did not. I mean you didn't shut up, you were just like, Is that is that Alfred? I'm like, that's not a movie talking voice, Caleb. <laughs> I just wanted people to know. Okay? I, I know, but the, you know, people probably haven't seen fucking Joker if they're gonna see Gemini Man. Like what kind of intelligence do you think they have? Well, they, I would assume they already guys. saw all, Joker but... before seeing Gemini. Nah, I, don't, I don't know. How would you see Gemini before Joker? Because <sighs> they're just like, why would I go see a movie about a clown? Ah, yeah, Gemini Man. Cool, I like Will Smith. I'm a Gemini. I go see Gemini Man. That's probably a big fucking factor for some Okay, to people. be fair, all the people we saw in the theater did not look like that type. <laughs> well, the theater was also pretty empty for an IMAX on a yeah. Saturday night at like 10, yeah. 15. Yeah, the theater was closing. They locked well, us I mean, out before we, we could get it. We got it. there like 15 minutes late. So. Still. <laughs> I've, that, that's never happened to me before. That I wasn't sense. expecting it. Right, yeah. You're just like, I don't want anybody else to come in. You know, if you're late. Yeah, the, the ticket lady was so like expecting us to go away. It's like, yeah, we're yeah. closed. But what about my ticket that I bought already? And she's like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Dude, that's a big ass fucking nest out there. Yeah, we've pointed that out before. That's a raccoon's nest. Oh. Yeah. I just noticed that. I'm never Thing's in huge. your room during the light time. Light time. Daytime. <laughs> the light time. <laughs> yeah. Um, we told you about the story when there were three raccoons in that tree. Just yeah. chill. Just screaming. <laughs> Having a fight. A family fight. Yeah. yeah. They haven't returned since. So I'm led to believe they could have just fell. <laughs> oh. Even though their bodies aren't down there. Who is calling me? Anyways. Um. And we are back. I had a phone call that I had to answer. What were we talking about? Will Smith? Uh, I, mean, I think we, before that we were talking about a raccoon's nest, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but let's get back to the movie. Raccoons, Rocket Raccoon, Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn, Suicide Squad. Will Smith was in Suicide Squad. Oh I made the connection. God. <laughs> did you like that? I can't believe you fucking did it. <laughs> um, 
As far as soundtrack is, okay. Nothing Something really that I always caught my ears. For. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Um, sound effects were good, though. I really enjoyed the sound design. Explosions. Yeah. All the ticky-tack detail stuff. Um, I'm jumping forward, but <clears throat> on the terms of how they shot this scene and the sound effects and everything and the mm-hmm. visuals, that one scene, at the, it's, like, it's at the very end, so we're jumping a little bit forward for this, but <laughs> the one scene where the uh, security forces you know, start coming in and stuff. And uh, the, they, they've the got Gemini squad. Yeah. All right, first off, is it when he sends, I'm going to send a Gemini, does he mean Will Smith or does he mean the task force, you know? I think he means, I don't know. Right? Because, like, he, what does I think he, he does call? mean Gemini or the Will Smith. Right. Then who does he, what does he call, like, the task force? I'll send in the Geminis. I don't know, dude. I don't know. So dumb. <clears throat> um, But that one scene where they hopped into the uh, little sports store. Yeah, it was like and, a, like a. I think it was like an outdoorsy like camp store. Yeah, but a lot then, of a lot of propane. But then, butane. like you know, that we see in the trailer, the dude just like you know with the minigun just like turns oh, it and just dude. zooms it on his face, and he's got the fucking like black hockey mask, and you're just like, ooh, someone's going down. And, and they got their eyes painted so you don't see the whites yeah. around it. So <laughs> then it's just you know, he just fucking lets just fucking lets it rip, and it dude. just shreds everything. <laughs> And it was just so badass and so cool. And, like, I don't know if you noticed it, but, like, I don't know how they did it either. But, like, they actually had, like, flaming rounds that were just, like, kind of, Oh, the the tracers? It might have been tracers. Or it might have just been because the bullets were just so fucking hot. Mm -hmm. They were just literally on fire. (laughs) But, like, because, like, they were just, like, dropping. And I was like, oh, there's a bullet. Oh, it's on fire. (laughs) That's fucking badass. That's the pinnacle. Oh, that that's the next line of bullet evolution. It's just it's like on fire. It's just like Angley's like listening to our podcast. Just like thank you for noticing. <laughs> I would I would hope they were tracers. I mean, usually many guns have tracers. Well, yeah, but it's like what every fifth bullet. I think it just depends on like what you're shooting. Mm-hmm. But dude, yeah, like anytime there's a mini gun and it's isolated, like you like not on a helicopter because then you get the helicopter noise and it's just. Yeah, and then and just like it was just shredding gone. through, I, I'm shelving and wood. And I would like to know how they filmed that. Yeah. Like, how much was CGI of the stuff like exploding, or did they put like little remote firecrackers and stuff so they could like boom while they're crawling through? Or did they just have stuntmen just actually fucking try to crawl through while a minigun just went off above their heads? <laughs> I mean, because we we were on them. I mean, Ang Lee is a quote-unquote yeah. visionary director. Yeah, which I didn't write it down. I'm glad I remembered it. Um, when Will Smith got on the dirt bike. Mm. Which one? Young Will Smith? or uh, when he, Let's, let's when refer he to it. Young Will Smith as Gemini, just because it'll be mm-hmm. easier for or us. Or Jaden. I don't want to disrespect. Or Junior. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yes, Gemini or would, junior, be, yeah, would be easier. Um, no, when, when Will Smith stole the red dirt bike yeah <laughs> they're like no don't take it <laughs> yeah he's like he's just like i'm gonna die damn it let go of me um, and then he like pulls a gun they're just like got no a gun. he, he no, even let's just, keep, let's just keep pulling him he had the gun here yeah and they're just like come on he's like let go damn it, i'm trying to live i don't want to shoot you um it was like, like a, they kind of like jerked his arm in a way that it like accidentally shot a bullet off and so like Gemini was like climbing over the top of the wall. Oh yeah. And it just like you know, hit Summer like just below him and he was mm-hmm. just like, oh, going back over. Yeah. <laughs> there are a like, few times fucking lucky. when he was just like Nope. I just fucking realized we totally forgot about the opening scene of the goddamn movie. We'll get when there. He... We'll okay. get there. Okay. Let, let's okay. finish this one. Um, sure. When he got on the dirt bike right away, there's like a, a twenty to thirty second just one shot of Will Smith just bending around the corners. That means there was someone on a dirt bike behind him. Uh, probably two people oh maybe one and then a camera operator somewhere else on a dirt bike with a camera just following will doing all these crazy turns and whatnot i would like to buy this movie to see the bonus features that's what i mean like this is a great experimental movie yes like there's so many things done to this because it's like was that cgi or was it like a stuntman and they just kind of like put will smith's face over it or was it actually will smith oh like gemini that part 
No, like when Will Smith was like getting away and he was like just like twisting and mm -hmm. its things. And Maybe it was a stuntman because I don't think we saw his face. We saw his face a little bit, but it's just like it's one of those things where it's like it's and they going could so like fast. correct it with CGI. Yeah, it was so quick. That'd be smart. That's so good. But yeah, dude, the opening. It just happened so fast. Also, the opening is like pretty much how this whole thing gets kicked off because mm -hmm. that in turn leads to Will Smith getting uh, targeted. Um, I do want to know why did did he get like did Alfred like reach out to him and be like, "Hey, this guy he killed isn't who you thought he was," or did he like no, go think, out of his way? So, do you remember the bald guy that visited him after right. he did the training and wanted his Stella Artois? Not his Coca Cola. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that was so his, much sponsoring. I'm pretty sure that was branding. his handler. Yeah, right. Like his boss. They, they never. Yeah, but they never like really addressed that. They never right. said like, "Hey, this is your handler." They just kind of like made it seem like they were just work buddies. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, Will Smith sets up the shot and everything, and you know he's on a hilltop like two thousand meters away. And, you know, he's got his spotter on the train with the target, giving mm -hmm. him information and stuff. I liked him. I'm sad that he <laughs> died so soon. Uh, he reminded me of Nate Wolf. A little bit. Yeah. He had, like, that curly hair to him. Yeah. Um, Even though the one joke he made during the beginning was like, come on. What did he say? It was something before, like, he whipped the phone out, which, by the way, why are you filming this dead dude? He, he like, got in his face. He's like, world star. And then pulls the phone away. And the guy's just like, what are you doing? Go. Maybe it's just because like he was just trying to blend in. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. It's just. Yeah, he, I just hope. Just, like, I hope like was nobody scared, does dude. that. <laughs> like someone dies well, and you nobody just would out. say world store. What? Yes, obviously that part. But like, whip out your phone, just like get. Oh no, people do it, dude. It's so. Uh, I've seen dumb. I've seen some shit on the four chans. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <clears throat> do you want me to tell you? No. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that the last podcast where, like, Andrew said something you're like, you want me to show you? <laughs> I've seen some fucked up shit, guys. Yes, thank you for reminding me. I've um, seen some fucked up stuff. But yes, also, the little girl. Why'd she just stand up and look at the guy? Say yeah, that nothing. Was fucking, <laughs> that was fucking weird. Just like, <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> like, I was, oh my god. Uh, that was another thing. I was just like, Okay, I understand that, like... I think this is another ex example of just, like, the bad writing with the story. It's just, like, you couldn't give it a reason why this girl is... I mean, that also just kind of showed, like, Will Smith why he needed to retire. Because he was just like, if I could have been... If I was six inches off, mm -hmm. I could have killed her. And I was aiming for the head or the neck, and I hit the head. No, he was aiming for the head, and he hit the neck. Oh. <clears throat> so, well, either way, he's just... He, he is realizing that he's getting sloppy. Or mm -hmm. not sloppy, but he's just... He's not at 100%. Right. And okay. I did like the line he said later on where he's, he said, um, it wasn't skill that killed him. I was lucky. Yeah. <clears throat> Which also, they, cause I mean, just like, you know, he, like he, he lined up the shot. He was looking at the dude's head as like the train was moving. Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, when his spotter gave him the all clear, he just whipped the sniper rifle and then just shot it. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay. I mean, yes, you need to calculate for you know, distance and wind and, speed stuff all that it just happens so fast but how do you just bah it's just like no 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 i understand you're probably like the fucking best but no goddamn hear way. me out what what if he closes the scope gets up starts running jumps spins <laughs> shoots 360 no scopes and gets it um i would love if a movie like did that like deadpool style just like out of nowhere just does it boop i would laugh if like the Deadpool Call of Duty did, like, movie. Fourth wall, <clears throat> fourth wall break, and he just like kills like thirty people, and he's like, "All right, call it a nuke," and he just like flips a button, and you just see an explosion in the fucking distance, and you're like, "Deadpool, what the fuck?" <laughs> and somebody's just like, "Where did you get a nuke?" And he's like, "I don't know. I just found one laying around." It's my kill streak, bro. Don't mess up my kill streak. Um. Anyways, yeah, that the train scene was pretty cool, but it was just also at the same time like now that you you brought up the fuck fucking kid i was just like that was dumb like she didn't even say anything she just got up looked at him and the guy was just like yeah and then the bodyguard was just like next to him was like hey. yeah hey what i don't know 
That, Hello. that, I, th I fucking thought I heard something. Would you like to join? Don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the bagel. You're welcome, bye. Well, that, that was a treat. Would you like a bagel? Uh, is it toasted? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We will save that for later. Oh, what the fuck? The, this joint. But there's one plate. I want crumbs on the desk. Table. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Just start eating one half and I'll eat the other one. Welcome to the ASMR okay. food podcast now. I guess I'll yeah, I'll go into it. Anyways. Um there was a really weird shot on the train where like so like this whole movie we saw an IMAX, um, which was beautiful. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Um I don't think it really needed to be an IMAX. I thought I meant more as like um the uh, not frame rate, the um, ratio. The aspect ratio. Yeah. I mean it um, still looked nice. Right. It was very bright. Mm -hmm. I liked that. <laughs> yeah, Ang Lee likes because He's he's more colorful with his, his stuff. Yeah. Um, Unlike Michael Bay, who just book does orange, as Andrew would say. <laughs> but there's one. Oh, look, there's the American flag. So fucking American. There was there was one shot where it was just the train going from here to here, and it's like a fish eye lens look. Yeah. Like that why? was cool. I don't know. Like it was cool, but like two giant black bars came down, and it was just like wide screen fish eye lens. And it's like, was this like a three D shot? Like, was this meant to be seen in 3D glasses? So, like, the train's like, whoa, as it got close. I'm calling the police. <laughs> um, but you know, like, I don't know. Like, that was, I just, like, I saw it. I'm like, okay, we're going to see a, a, a shot of the train. Just, oh, my God, it's a, it's a fisheye lens. That's so cool. And that's the only time it happened. Like, like any strange shot. Yeah. But it's still just, like. Bagels are great. Um, yeah. Um, since we got into the IMAX part, this movie was super smooth. What do you mean? Frame rate. Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> to, to a scrub like me, um, I don't really know. Did it at least look what different? A, what a chop! I it. Because it is so hard to tell. Yeah. Because a large a large part of it was like, is this the frame rate or is it just like One Ang thing Lee's? That looked different to me was the fight scenes, like the hand to hand combat scenes, mm -hmm. like between Will Smith and Gemini. It just seemed like they were moving. It it, it didn't move at a typical action movie right pace, which was nice. I like that because I'm like, okay, this actually seems like it's like like a legitimate thing that could have like. This seems legitimate. The fact yeah. that they were moving at that speed, you know, just mm -hmm. whipping around, and I'm like, "Fuck, dude!" He just threw that leg. It's not like um, I don't know why I'm thinking this is an example. Did you see the third Hobbit? Yes. Um, the scene where like um, Legolas was jumping on the the falling rocks, and it's like slow mo. It's like this doesn't look natural. Yeah, because he was all floaty and it looked like kind of like zero grav almost. And like that's the thing is like I think the the reason why it looked so weird was because we've only seen fight scenes in movies. Like we've never like, most of us haven't really seen fights right. in real life. And they look nothing like it's usually like a punch here and there whiffs. And then they just like, yeah. Grab each so, other. So like, you know, to see like an actual fight, mm -hmm. you know, between two seasoned veterans, you're just like, like, especially with how popular UFC is. It's, uh, we see more grappling. Yeah. That's like, and like they were and definitely doing some like each grappling other. and stuff too. But they were also like you know throwing legs and punches and stuff. And oh, oh fuck yeah, it's my turn. Um, probably should have waited to finish that bite before I handed it to you. <laughs> that was some nice dead air. <laughs> Just mm. Gemini. Did you notice that like when he was fighting, it definitely looked kind of cgi like his movement was more rubber bandy if that makes any sense like elastic yeah where like will smith was definitely a real person yeah stunt double maybe or actual will and it was tactile but like you would see like the fast punches from gemini and it would just kind of like go really quick and it didn't have like as much natural look to it it's really hard to explain but it sounds like you know what i'm talking about kind of yes mm -hmm. um like it, it was really good. Um, 
like I said, I, I or like we said, uh, um, I want to know how, like the behind the scenes of this, mm-hmm. really good, um, and I would like to know what the hell happened in the very last scene because the CGI was great throughout the whole movie, and then Gemini looks like trash <laughs> in the last scene of the movie. I really do think they were just trying to go for like a <clears throat> age progression, even though it was only six months. I hope because he looks so much taller, he looks so much weirder at a distance. Maybe mm-hmm. that maybe that's the reason it was at a distance. Maybe because I was a little bit, and then when like he... when they got closer, you're like, okay, that looks back to normal. Mm-hmm. And maybe that was like, you know, they tried going for like an age progression thing, and they tried it out, and they're like, eh, it still looks kind of weird. And so maybe Ang Lee was probably just like, fuck, it, let's just go back to the original. So they got up close. Yeah, they just sub it in. They're like, maybe they'll just think that you know, distance kind of mm-hmm. fucked it up because it did. But but even like when he was moving close to him, like and just the way he was talking, like the motion of it looked bad. Um, so like I said, I I still think in that very last scene, it was just straight up CGI the whole model, and it was just Will Smith, Mary, and a CGI model, with them, until they did the hugging stuff. Then that was practical yeah because like when they there's that shot where you saw all three of them like walking towards the camera around the campus mm. like it, it looked like the edging around them was soft like it was feathered whereas like a not like green screen but like the opposite like cgi model just thrown into the world yeah um i don't know what happened maybe that was like one of the last things they filmed and they're like you know what we're running out of the budget screw it we don't need our double in here anymore it's just such a odd thing to happen. Can we do a food podcast for Thanksgiving? Like where we just eat food during the podcast? We could. <laughs> I like that. Idea. Just put like plastic over all this stuff <laughs> to get it, keep it all yeah. away from crumbs. And then we can talk about <laughs> Knives Out. Or does Knives Out come out early November? I don't know. Because we keep saying it looks like a Thanksgiving movie. Does it come around Thanksgiving? I will look it up. Okay. I will go into my next next point. Um, we talked about the dialogue and how is the weaker point of this movie, uh, but there were two good examples of just strong dialogue, and that was Will Smith um, talking to Gemini at gunpoint, and he was just super emotional. He's like, I know who you are because you're me. Yeah. He's like, you... You're an insomniac. You're allergic to bees. You can't swim. <laughs> the bees thing was funny because then later he shoots him with bee venom. And he's just like, I, I had to make sure. It's like, bro, <laughs> just take his fucking word for it. Don't try yeah. to kill him. <laughs> but I even love that like the look on his face when he's like looking down. They had that upshot. He's like, oh, shit. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> That's not hot. <laughs> Dude, Ashley kind of had, like, a moment there because she has asthma. So, like, she was having, like, a panic attack almost just, like, watching Will, like, struggle through that. Same. Like, I have asthma, but I was just, like, shit, not really thinking about it. Although we tried hiking the uh, Hollywood sign mm-hmm. last year, two years ago, mm-hmm. when we went to California to see Nick. It's a Is fucking... this the first time Nick's getting a shout out on the podcast? Yeah, what's up, Nick? Nick, <clears throat> Nick Pugsley is a great dude. Pugsley. Nick's, Nick's the best. Nick's the best. Anyways, uh, we were hiking up the uh, Hollywood sign, and it's a fucking hike. Like it's just, yeah. like, it's like, like steep. Like you guys are basically just like kind of like walking up like the shallow side of a mountain, or the <laughs> steep side of a mountain. I should mm-hmm. say. There's no like really. No and is it isn't it more like back and forth? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> it's a lot of movement. I was also not in the best shape. <laughs> so I got about maybe... Getting those carb burps right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got maybe like halfway up or so. Mm-hmm. And like I was just... like We also didn't plan. Like we didn't have water. We didn't have really any... The like, last thing I want to do is just... Have this with you at all times. Completely full. Yeah. But you know... So like we get like halfway up and I'm just trying to fall. I'm like I'm fucking dying and I'm like come on we can we can do this buddy we can we can keep going let's go and they're like just like you know fucking like a hundred feet ahead of me and I was just like fuck I'm falling behind. <laughs> Eventually I was just like you know what it's not worth it it's not worth killing myself and I don't have my inhaler so I'm fucked if 
something goes wrong. And I was like, I'm going back down. <laughs> and then Andrew is a fucking madman. Wanna... So I get back down to the bottom. And uh, I'm probably sitting there for about 10 minutes. Just chilling on my phone. Just like, you mm-hmm. know, catch my breath. Taking, like, you know, relaxing. And uh, I see some dude just fucking sprinting down the fucking mountain. I'm like, who the fuck is a crazy ass? Oh my God, it's Andrew. Why was he sprinting? I don't know. He's just like, I saw one guy do it. It looked cool. And so like, I wanted to do it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it probably took us like a few hours to get up there. Like, up there. He probably got down in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It probably didn't take us like an hour. or It probably took us like an hour. Did you do it? What did it cost? <laughs> A sprained ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't do that meme without thinking of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> a cool hat for free. <laughs> and it's just like the little turkey hat. He's <laughs> just like everything, <laughs> everything. Uh, shoot. How did we, how do we get? Oh, the asthma thing or the, the yeah the, the hard breathing. Yeah, yeah. That was a cool scene. I legit thought he was, he just shot him there. Yeah, I was just like fuck. Because we saw him crouch that split second and. Yeah, like I also thought something weird was going on because like he didn't kill anybody else, like he right. only shot Will, and it seemed yeah. like he was like a trank daughter, like or something because mm-hmm. it, it came out of the gun and like it just kind of stuck in his neck. And he was like, ah. yeah, he didn't do anything. Like, okay, well, it's not an actual bullet, so. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have more reaction if he got shot in the neck with a bullet, and he's like, ah. Well, I think he wouldn't even react to it. He'd be like, yeah, just fucking fall, just gargling blood. Um, speaking of guns. We got some cool guns in this movie. Oh, I thought you meant like in the house. Yeah, don't fuck with us people. We got guns. <laughs> yeah, have you seen Under My Pillow? I sleep with a sniper under my pillow. Like that that's how dope I am. The Mary Elizabeth and she just, you know, Will Smith just is it in her house and she's just like, <gasps> like yeah. how do you sleep with a gun under your pillow? How do you uh, just... I toss, I toss and turn so much that with my bad luck, it'll probably just face up. The safety will turn off. A chamber will right. be loaded, or a round will be loaded into the chamber, and somehow it'll just be fucking pulled. And I'll just he died in his brain. sleep. How he shot himself in his sleep? How <laughs> the gun wasn't even loaded? I mean, sure there was a magazine in the clip, or whatever you fucking want to call it. He choked on the gun. The safety was on. How? I don't know. He's, he's a heavy sleeper. He likes Dude, to Mary, toss and Mary turn. Could, not, could not get some quality sleep in this movie. Will Smith just kept waking her up. <laughs> yeah, just hey, people are coming to kill you. Also, I love seeing Will Smith just like with his gun, like this. It was with weird. He was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cradle it. Just, or like when he's sleeping with the so, gun like this, like a teddy bear or something. <laughs> yeah. I when they're know. in uh, Hungary. I think so. No, Colombia first. He was in Colombia. Huh? Uh, Columbia, the first time, and then they went to Hungary. Oh yeah. <clears throat> but dude, that shotgun. Are we gonna talk about that double assault shotgun? Oh, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. That thing was dope. Just. Bop. Super <sighs> bop. <laughs> I was just thinking about the end and how it was just like you know the third Gemini was just walking slowly. Bop. <laughs> and like in real time, that it was just. Walking slowly, <laughs> bah, <and> just walk <laughs> slowly. It was just, it was, and then he just like he got shot like four times, and after the second time, I'm like, "Come on, <laughs> okay, well, what's going on? What's the point here?" And then he just dies after Mary. Do just you like, feel pain? And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it almost took the award over Talia Al Ghul's death. <laughs> I hated the her. I, I mean, like, after, like, playing the Arkham games and being like, whoa, you're fucking hot. <laughs> gross. Oh, my God. <laughs> she was fucking gross. I hated her. She did not look pretty. <laughs> and the fact that that's who she Bruce Bane pretty. fucking fell in love with, like, Pugh. Bruce Bane? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm thinking of Bane. <laughs> or I'm thinking of Bruce Banner. I don't fucking know. Bruce. <laughs> because you took the B from Banner and the A from Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Bane. Probably. I don't fucking know. <laughs> that, that was a fun goof. Ugh. And we, we I, like I said last night, we got that, that cool corner gun for a split second. Mm, yeah. And even seeing uh, Will Smith with a sniper at the beginning doing his whole like loadout and like flipping the scope up. Yeah. Or like when he almost killed Gemini at the beginning, like when he saw him on the roof and then he went back down 
he had a scope here and then he had the sight on the side. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. This man is special forces when he's got that. Well, then does that mean I'm special forces? Because like I used to play Battlefield and oh they God. had that in there. Sure, man. Cool. <laughs> Um, other small detail. I liked how Mary, when she had her flare, she did like the the cop thing where she had the gun here and the flare yeah. on the side. It's kind of cool. I mean, um, yeah, FBI and stuff, and FBI. Or CI, DI, whatever the fuck it was. Did you like the dirt bike boxing? <sighs> I didn't really care for it. We saw it in the trailer, nothing really new. Probably would have liked it better if it was in the trailer. Yeah, I mean, it was still cool. Definitely felt the fear from Will though. Yeah. Because, like, when there's a tire over you, like, and you're just like, fuck. Like, yeah. Eh. Or, like, when it's, like, revving, it's, like, about to hit your crotch. Yeah. Like, that was, like, pure desperation. Yeah. Like, that was very believable. Like, you know, on your back, hands and knees, just, you know, and you scrambling. Got, you got the asphalt burn. Yeah. Oh, that sucks so much. Yeah. And you're just, and you keep hitting it. Yeah. It was good. It was real good. It made us uncomfortable, and I think that's what it was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. It was also just kind of like supposed to show, like, you know, Will's kind of just barely hanging on. Like, he's good, yeah. but he's barely hanging on. He's younger, he's fresher, he's faster, and he doesn't have any fear. Yeah. But he's still afraid of bees. That's a good bagel. I'm so hungry. That was a great bagel. I can't wait to start Dude, making ba- this. Aren't stew. bagels great? Did you say bagel stew? I can't wait to start making my stew. Oh. Chris, do you make it? Oh, with the beef. The beef beef stroke. stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. Oh. oh, can we hurry this up? I need to get started now. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, oh God, I'm so hungry, guys. Speaking of delightful treats. Uh, I'm getting hungrier. Benedict Wong. Oh, my God. Yeah, we didn't even talk Dude, about it. Dude, I yet. loved him so much. It took movie. me a minute because I'm just like, what the fuck is this fat Asian guy with a fucking caterpillar on his face? When you... <laughs> we'll get to that part in a second. I wanted to make a reference to that movie so bad. Your timing was perfect. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll just jump into wait, 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 wait. it. Ah, okay. But like, yes, the mustache is nice. Does he have a mustache in movies? He has like a thin one in Doctor Strange. Yeah, it, it made more... Like, and he is bald, but like he was so much just like cuddly in this movie. He had like longer hair, and he's just like so funny. He was singing when he's flying. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember if he was in the trailers, but like I, I forgot. Think, I don't think he was. If we did, and like it was just nice seeing him. Yeah. In this movie. Um. Yeah. But let's just get to that part. Like, we think Gemini is going to join the, the team, and he he's about to join the team, and then something happens. The missiles can launched at the car. Oh well, I mean, I think he still was on the team because he yeah. he was basically just at the uh, point where he realized that um, my dad's a bad man. What was the name? V- uh, very Varus. Varus, yes. Varus is the uh, older bad guy. Clive Owen. Yes, I like Clive Owen. I can't yeah. remember what else he's been in, but I know that like. He's I, one of those actors, like you see me, like, oh yeah, but like, yeah, and you're like I can't really think of stuff that much. You can go behind the camera and grab it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh it's funny. I gave Matt the other half of the bagel. He really enjoyed it. Oh yes, thank you very much. You can just walk over the wire. Yeah, the monitor <laughs> isn't a camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We're keeping you in. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Thumping. <laughs> Anyways, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, Jam and I was, like, about to... No, he was joining them. He, yeah. Because he kind of, yeah. like, realized that his, like, dad was just, like, a, mm-hmm. an asshole. Who was I was I was scared when he was getting the call. I thought he was, like, in on it. But, no, he yeah. was just scared that he was getting the call. <clears throat> yeah. But then also, like, his dad was just like, I don't care if you're helping them right now or not. Just get out of the car because, like, I care about you. It's like, no, you don't. You just care about your weapon. Yeah, your weapon. Like, that was just dumb. Mm. And so... And then, like, yeah. And then. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> um, what was I saying? The missile gets launched at the van. Oh, yeah. So, like, you know, they're driving down the road. And, mm-hmm. you know, they see the uh, the other Gemini squad down the street. Gemini squad. And, uh, you know, they launch a rocket. And Gemini is just like, get out of the van. And they all just try to scramble. But. Dude, at first, Long I thought... was just on the wrong side of the van. I thought they all got out 
at first. I th- I did too, but then they were just like, I don't. I was like, I don't think I saw Wong get out. Yeah. <laughs> and, then were just, and, you know, and like that was a big explosion. I was yeah. Like, fuck. It's okay. a Gemini missile, man. Shut the they, fuck. they don't mess around. <clears throat> um, and so yeah, at that point, I, I leaned over to Caleb, and I was just like, No, 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 he's still alive. He just did the. <laughs> um, for those of you who are just listening, it's it's the uh, the Doctor Strange technique where they open up the portal. And they yeah. Just, they point the two fingers and just the circle. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> bah, bah. <laughs> Dude, I I can't wait for Doctor Strange too, man. Just for that, Dude, I love the effects in Doctor Strange. The fact that it's gonna be a horror movie, I really Ooh. hope they lean into that a I lot. Feel, I feel like they will. I mean, like Doctor Strange, like I feel like if there's if there's any, and we get some more Benedict Wong with that movie too. <laughs> I feel like there's if there's any character that needs to, that is best for jumping into the horror genre, it's Doctor yes. Strange because he deals yes. with the supernatural and stuff. And yeah, yeah, you know. and like Dormammu was pretty scary in the first one. It was just more like a trip. Right. I'm just saying like his whole design. Yeah. And like you felt for it. Like when you saw Dormammu, you're like, okay, how is he going to get out of this one? He could, like you couldn't fight that. You just had to trick him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great stuff. And like I said before, he gets to eat all the hunk of hulk of fudge that he wants. Ch- it's chunk a hulk a hunk, chunk a hunk a hulk of fudge. Is that the name of the flavor? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> that was the minorest of minor details. Dude, the ice cream part was like one of the best parts of that movie. What was Tony Stark's flavor? I don't fucking remember because it was well certainly not the best part. I meant like the whole interaction was one of the funnier parts. I don't think at the so. beginning of the movie. Dude, just like Tony Stark and Benedict going at each other. Oh, I thought I'm thinking of Endgame. <laughs> Uh, dude, that wasn't even in it. <laughs> okay, well, that's even longer, so, like, fuck. Oh, I mean, they were eating the ice cream. I, I meant, like, the, the bantering. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Again. Wait. The dialogue in this movie. This is my favorite line in the trailer. And I couldn't help but laugh hearing it again in the movie. You made a person. From another person. Yeah, that's how cloning works. <laughs> One and two. I think my favorite line was, why would he pick you to send after <laughs> me? Gemini's like, because I'm the best. <laughs> you are obviously not the best. And, and like, like that's the crowd a funny just like line. laughs, and me and Caleb just lean over to each other in, in sync. <laughs> we just say casuals. <laughs> and, like, dude, I like that line. And it's fun for the trailer. It if was, it wasn't in the trailer, I would have laughed. Also, the way that it's he, a fun line. Yeah, the way that he delivered it was such a Will Smith way. You were yeah. obviously not the best. And it's yeah. Like, yeah, that's Will Smith. Like Prime, Independence Day, or Bad Boys, or even, Men in Black. Even how Gemini said it, you're just like, these are both Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is something that this movie, like you know, we can't really overlook. Is one Will Smith is a great actor. He is yeah. an amazing actor. Dude, two, I am Legend. I am Legend. I Robot. Um, I haven't seen I Robot in so long, dude. Yeah, um, I need to come back to it. You know, even I'm gonna say it. Aladdin. He really kind of yeah. Like he made the best out of the situation. Yes, and like he, he, he knew what he was going <clears throat> into, and he still because Will Smith isn't the kind of guy with a big ego who's like, I'm gonna do it better. He's like, I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna do the best that I can. Yeah, people like it. Great. Mm-hmm. If not, I understand. You and know, that was taking like, on a big role. The best part of that movie was him. When everyone yeah. thought that was going to be the worst part. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked a little weird as a blue genie, but you know, <laughs> they worked around it and it was really yeah. good. But yeah, Will Smith is great. I mean, his acting was incredible in this movie. Some of the writing was just. Dude, the second monologue with Gemini, uh, in front of Clive, when he was like confronting when he knew yeah. that he was a clone. Yeah. And he just had the tears in his eyes. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Like, dude, dialogue was so hit or miss at times. It's so f- like when it was good, it was good. But then, you know, a lot of times it was just like, oh, okay. it's just funny when it was bad. Yeah, you made a person from another person. Um, da, da, da. but I do love it when we when I go into a movie expecting it to be bad, and I'm just surprised because I was totally expecting to go in this movie and hate watch it. Like, I didn't even care about showing up late. I hate getting to the movie late. I didn't care about being late this time. Yeah. Especially because I thought you were going to be there before. So just in case I missed something, I could just ask you. It was funny that we both got there. And yeah. I saw the text and I was like, you here already? I think I see you. 
<laughs> across the parking lot. Hi, man. <laughs> that was funny. Because I think we were on the same boat when, like, we watched the first trailer. It looked awful. Yeah. We saw the second trailer. This looks great. Yeah. This looks like, like it could okay, be good. This actually looks pretty. That looks better. Mm-hmm. And we were excited. We heard bad things about it. We were disappointed. So going in the movie, we thought it was going to be bad. And we both Andrew's had a good not time. Gonna see it. Huh? Andrew's not going to see it. Maybe not. <laughs> no, he's not going to. I could try talking him into seeing it when he comes down for the HDR 3D+. Plus. Because like I said, I'm definitely going to see it again. Not because it's a good movie and because I enjoyed it that much, but just because I need to see if the tech is really that big of a thing. I saw a close captioning for it. Like, Does that mean it's going to have like subtitles? Yeah, that, that's usual. Close captioning. Wait, like, what do you mean? Like, was that like a selling point or something? Yeah, because, like, you know, I'll look it up. Just continue talking. <laughs> um, it was a nice thing that they didn't go for the love story between Mary and Will. Mm. Especially because it seemed like they were trying to force it at the beginning. Like, did you think that they were going to try to make them hook up at, like, at the end of the movie? Because they had this, like, flirting at the beginning. <sighs> and then they're like, you're burnt. And then yeah. he called her toast. I like that they called her toast a few times. <laughs> yeah. See you, toast. Um, I was kind of. And then he got into the part. He's like, "Be a father, be a husband, be what I couldn't be." And then it went to her, and I was like, "They're not trying to like, yeah, do this, are I, they?" I was kind of worried about that. I was just like, "Please, mm-hmm. don't, don't ruin this." Mm-hmm. Like, she's a little too young. You're a little too old. Right. And then they, it almost felt like she was gonna go for a kiss at the college scene when they haven't like when they met with each other. You I, know, I would have been fine with that. It's just like. Hmm romantic <laughs> but it's just nice they hug we don't get enough platonic relationships in movies yeah like, they can just be friends you know yeah it's great also will smith was talking to everybody and that was just really wholesome and nice i was just like fuck i want to be hugged by will smith will, will smith's just a great guy <laughs> yeah he is people clown on him too much i i hope <laughs> he leans into the memes um when he said when junior asked him like um So, okay. Sorry, I was just looking at text Andrew's son. Um, when when uh, I think Junior was asking him, like in the college scene or somewhere, he was like, so where were you born? And he's like, West Philadelphia. In my head, I was like, born and raised. <laughs> I didn't hear the West part because I was kind of spaced out, but I heard the Philadelphia part. I was like, of course. Yeah. But why? Just because it was funny. But then they were just like, yeah, he. Honestly, I, I feel like Will somewhere. Smith was like, can I say I'm from West Philadelphia? I really hope they. I, I really wish they would have said like, you know, just Bel Air, just, just born, make a small fourth wall break. I, I was born in West Philadelphia. I was raised in Bel Air. I, I hate you. Will. <laughs> I'd have been like, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's hot. We're almost there, man. Said it last night. I think this movie is a great proof of concept as far as. How far mm. technology has come. Where the technology is, the defra- defra- the de-aging mm. is insane. Minus that one scene at the end. It, it's just, wow. I really want to know how much of the budget goes to the tech department. Yeah. Uh, the visual effects. Because I know it was a big point before where it was just so expensive to do it. To do it right. Yeah. Um, I really hope it's a lot cheaper. And if it is, it's kind of scary. Like, if you can just make people look super young, like, to the point where it's like, do we even need actors anymore? Do we just use doubles and just put the actors' faces on them? Are we in the simulation now? It does help with action scenes as far as using doubles and being able to keep the face on actors and not having to film behind them and stuff. Or, you know, you can just be like Jackie Chan and just do all, and Tom Cruise and just do all your stunts. Like a badass. Yeah. Rest in peace, Tom Cruise's ankle. <laughs> oh my god. Aren't they making like three more movies? Yeah. Dude, I need I need to hop on the train. I haven't seen I've only I seen have, one I mission impossible. No, I just don't have Fallout. I we, we need to marathon. Uh, Fallout through. is on Hulu though. We need to marathon them and get to Fallout before they take it off. Yeah, I'll watch Fallout again. But uh you don't like the other ones? No, I do. I just I've seen them recently enough okay. that it's just like I don't, I don't really want to. Visit Fair enough. Them. I can borrow it then and then yeah. go through it. Even though I don't have a blue, I'll steal someone's PS4. They're not using it. 
Um, I mean, you can use mine as long as you just, by the time that I get home, you're off of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to wait till you get home, put it in, tape the PS4 shut so you can't take the disc out. Just kidding. Um, I didn't know. I don't know if this is the only other movie that's done it, uh, but The Hobbit also experimented with 120 frames. Hmm. So that also explained why The Hobbit was a little had that feel to it as well. But I'm um, like a lot of that also was just entirely CG. Yeah. So it's just like you know, you couldn't really tell. Wait, you mean those orcs weren't real people? They have names. They're called. <laughs> Orc lives matter. I was trying to think of something. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh. Small detail until I get to my theory, and then that's all I got. Yeah. Did you when they picked up Gemini's hat? Did you see the logo on it? I think that's the only time we really got a close up of the Gemini logo. Yeah. It was. Two wolves. Two wolves and two stars. And like a yin yang. Yeah. And I think the two stars were the dots. That makes sense. That's a real cool logo. Yeah. And like, why wolves? Because wolves are badass. And then... Also, I mean, what is the symbol for your... I think it's like two lines, something about the twins. You're talking about like the... Yeah, it's like... For Gemini. Let me see it. Dude, that's so weird. Um, The server we had last night before we went to the movie... I'm pretty sure she had that tattooed right here. Hmm. That's just like handing a drink. I guess this movie was meant to be. I mean, she was probably Gemini. That's probably why she got tattooed. Have you seen that clip? I think it's from like the more recent Bachelor, Bachelorette, where they go up to the guy. <laughs> she's like, oh, what are you? And he's like, I, uh, I'm an astrophysicist. She's like, oh, cool. I'm a Gemini. And he's just... <laughs> <laughs> Tweet that. I will. <laughs> Tweet that. Guys, go check out our Twitter, even though this is going up on Saturday. We'll, we'll be dropping this on Monday, Tuesday, one of those days. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a great meme right there. But I had this great theory last night on why Ang Lee made this movie. Um, because, like I said, very first fact, this movie has been in development hell for 20 years. So why is it now being made? And especially by Ang Lee. Yeah. Um, I think he saw this script. Or not even saw the script. I think he just purely wanted to make this movie because he wanted to do uh, the high frame rate and de-aging. I think this was a total experiment movie for him. And Gemini Man was just the vessel, you know? Yeah. Because not much went into the story. The writing was... Not the strong point of this movie. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? And like, I still need to see like what the 3D plus is. Because first off, 3D plus. What? Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. We'll see. I, I even put this little part right here. And I was like, and this could revolutionize 3D. And I put in parentheses, screw Avatar. <laughs> um... Cause yeah, how crazy would it be that like this movie kind of like revolutionizes certain things in cinema, and then you go back in the history book and you're like, "Oh, Gemini Man did this." Yeah. And so it's just very funny that this movie that people really don't like could change things in Hollywood, and maybe this popularizes high frame rate if it looks good. The only thing that sucks is because instead of twenty four to one twenty. That's a lot more data that you're working with. Mm. So that's a lot more that the editors have to work with in the visual effects. Because yeah. instead of having to do it for 24 frames, you're working with 120 frames individually for one second. That's five times more work. That's insane. Yeah. And not even... It's five times more work, five times more data. So the files are way bigger. And then if it's in 4K... It's four times bigger because 1080 to 4K is like you take four 1080s fits into 4K. That's just all the data, all the gigs, all the terabytes. And it just slows down the workload. 
because you got it. Is your brain broken or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of information. Yeah. So they're going to be swapping out memory cards all the live, live long day. But yeah, that's all Maybe I got. They have the technology. You ready for this? I like the snap. Oh, uh, sorry. The that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we made it probably over an hour, maybe. Yeah. I if it's longer than Lego Movie Part 2, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that being the one movie. Yeah. One podcast. Didn't we have another one? Uh, The Invaders news Zone? one, I think. It made it over an hour because we got to the end and we just kind of bullshitted past yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Which is kind of what we're doing now. Um, I'm okay with one podcast being under one hour. I feel, like we're, I feel like we're just going to have some. You're right. Yeah. It, it's kind of... um. I mean, I'm surprised this one made it over an hour. Or yeah, to we, an hour at least. It, we, we had some tangents and we got into like some cool, uh, big things that we want to talk about. Yeah. Um, uh, still can't get over. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have going on for the rest of this month, Caleb? We got a lot. We do have a lot. We have a lot, a lot. We a still lot. need to watch El Camino. I saw uh, that Andrew story. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't find it anywhere on AMC. That sucks. Yeah. I really want to watch it in theaters. Maybe it's like some we'll just to like look up like mm-hmm. the AMC theater listings, right? Um, maybe maybe Regal is also, doing something too. Kind of kind of rude. He didn't wait for us. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You didn't wait for him, man. Okay, that's fucking different. I've been waiting for <laughs> so goddamn long. Um, uh, anyways, we uh, I might watch Into the Tall Grass tonight while you guys are at the wedding, and then okay. wait, you guys just watch it tomorrow or something. Unless, gonna, unless we should watch El Camino. Yeah, we could. Um, I was going to say we could do like. I would like to do like a initial reaction to it. Yeah. Like do like a 10 minute video talking about it. Because we need to talk more about movies just by themselves. Yeah. We don't need to do it in the podcast. Yeah. Especially if we only have like 10 minutes worth of stuff saying for it. So we could do that. El Camino is definitely going to be. Damn, that sucks. El Camino is going to be in line with. Zombieland 2. There's like four movies coming out this weekend, next weekend. Didn't El Camino just come out? Right, but if we want to talk about it, it's going to have to be for next podcast. Unless we just do... Maybe we'll do an initial reaction for that as well. Yeah. And then talk about it a little more in the podcast. But what? We got Zombieland 2. <sighs> Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. I'm not really interested in that one. I'm somewhat excited for it. I don't know if there's going to be too much to say about it because I haven't read the book. I feel like people are just hyped because it's Taika Waititi. And yeah. like that's... That's fine. I mean, yeah, seeing Taika with TTS, it's just like, Hitler, you're like, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh, he's Hitler? I'm pretty sure he's Hitler. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but still, him. but it's just like, you know. Um, it's also weird thinking, like, why? A Kiwi is playing Hitler in a in a movie. Yeah. What timeline are we in? I don't know. <laughs> um. That earbud keeps falling out. Uh, I, I, the movies else? aren't coming to my head, but there's definitely four. The calendar's filled up. What else? And also, the guys are going to be here. Yeah. So, so we're like, that's going to be doing crazy a podcast weekend. with some of our uh, friends who have not been introduced to the podcast yet. Yeah, um, not a single one. So that's going to be well, that's Mitchell, be fun. but yeah. I mean, like he hasn't been on the podcast yet. He has. Oh He's yeah, been on Aquaman. He hasn't been seen on the podcast. True. Yet. <clears throat> I don't know how we're going to do that. Do you think we should just like kind of film it up like we we're all just like sitting on the couch or something? Maybe I, I I want the sound quality though. I might just do what we do with Connor and just have two on each mic. That's gonna suck. Yeah, it, it'll sound better because dibs we'll, on Kyle. We'll... <laughs> dibs on Josh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways. Um. Well, uh, a lot of other big stuff coming up. Um. Games are gonna be dropping soon. Um. Uh, Check out our uh, my Twitch. Um, we haven't streamed in a while. Yeah, we'll get to it. That's just that's. I like swear, cool. I will start streaming next week. I can't do it this week because guys are going to be here. Yeah. There's not going to be time for it. And Luigi's Mansion is about to come out on the thirty first. Me and Kyle Bonnell, uh, one of our friends, is going to be coming down. We're going to be doing a uh, stream event together. Ooh. Duo streaming. That's going to be pretty dope. That'll so be interesting. Uh, put it in your calendars. Friday, Saturday. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tweet it. Maybe. I like how you say put on your calendar. Just just go follow me on James Vanderdouche on Twitch. Uh, and then when you go say the day, you're like, I don't know when it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll just we're gonna be having some fun this week. Um, My Hero season four just started. Oh, um, I'm so. Oh, I want to watch it so bad. I know. Such uh, a 
busy week. We're going to be starting to watch that soon. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. I think that's everything. Probably mm-hmm. a bit more stuff. Check out Andrew's new show, the director's filmography. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't watched any of his episodes yet, but mm-hmm. uh, the second it, it's definitely a very cool concept, something mm-hmm. that he's very excited about. And uh, There's a bit in the second one that I think you'll enjoy very much. Oh. That none of us, I don't think any of us were here when he was filming it. Maybe. I don't know. He's like, I remember there was one time where I was just stuck in my room because he was filming stuff. And I was <laughs> just like, okay. I didn't really mind. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. They're good. It's a good deep dive for directors and what they've done and finding out more of what they've done and how they got where they did. It's great. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. just... Uh, in a year from now, how many, or years from now, how many other directors he would have done? Yeah. It's a good time. It's a good time. Sorry, you were saying. Ooh. What? Nothing. Did we lose a sub or something? Yeah. <laughs> we're down to 649. Oh, we've been like that. Oh, we have. Yeah. I've, I've not been checking. I'm just <laughs> busy with I thought you were going to say 640. I was like, what did we do? Oh, no. All right. You got anything else? Um, no, we appreciate you guys stopping in once again, mm-hmm. uh, whether it be on the YouTube or, uh, on the Twitch, on the Twitters, on the Twitters, on, on the, the fan Wikipedia page. But do we have one of those? Not yet. <laughs> um, you know, if you listen to our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, um, you know, it, it would just mean a lot to us if you guys could just, you know, um, kind of just, you know, reach out to one of your friends or coworkers and just say, Hey, uh, I like this channel. They got some cool stuff. We're going to mm-hmm. be dropping more cool stuff once we actually find the time and energy yeah. and we're all together, which is very hard. We, for we got some cool do. things brewing, ideas and things. Yes. Um, got some things that we want to work on. We're always Fun stuff. evolving. Mm-hmm. Got a new season of the podcast coming up soon, too, as well. Ooh, yeah. Season one is about to end. Coming up in a year. Got a new look on the way. Ooh. I can't wait. I might try to learn how to start editing Ooh. if I ever get the fucking time to just sit down and just be like, okay, let's edit. Because if that's the case, I might put some. I can only imagine video how games together. funny and memey your videos are gonna be. I'll show you one that I'm gonna like take like inspiration off of, just mm-hmm. because like I'm not gonna like copy it, but it's right. just like I watched it and I'm like, this is fucking good. <laughs> like this is hilarious, and I want to do this. Um, that's not copying; it's inspiration. Yeah, that's true. Um. Anyways, you got anything else? No. Nah. Excited Same. for the future. We got a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be on the lookout, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. This is Michaela. And it's been Matthew. Bye. We love you.